Hello everybody, welcome at CNC Machine Tutorial. My name is Peter and in today's video I will show you what kinds of punching tools you can use at CNC punching machines. Unfortunately I don't have all the kinds of tools which are on the market, but still I think that this video will give you a very good overview of punching tools. So let's get started. Ok guys, we have some basic shapes of punch. So in general it's round, square, oblong, rectangle and then some custom uh, special shape. Ok? So all these punch, you can get them in uh, different sizes. But I don't mean just, I, I'm not talking about just the OD diameter of the, for example, this the round. But the punch also differ in the size of the body of the punch. For example, this, there is this difference. So, this is the standard one. You can get uh, in the short or long version. And this is the insert punch. If you want to use this kind of punch, you have to use the punch chuck. Punch chuck looks like this. How to assemble it together, so basically there are two screws in the chuck. So just insert the chuck, insert the punch into the chuck, tie it up, tighten the screw and lock the punch inside. And there is one more screw at the side of the punch chuck. It locks the punch according to the rotation, okay? So just tighten the screw and then, as you can see, the shapes, it match. It's the, it's the same. Only what you have to do is uh, measure the length of the punch, okay? For the insert punch, there is another size. It is slightly bigger. For this one, you have to use the punch chuck size 2. It has just the bigger hole inside. Uh, as I was talking about the OD diameter of the punch, you can, you can have, uh, for example, like this small, this kind of medium size, and then also this big one, okay? That, as you can see, the, the shape of the body is slightly different. As I mentioned at the first tutorial, we have three kinds of alignment rings. So, for, for this punch is suitable this alignment ring. For this alignment ring, you can use a punch with this shape. I mean, it doesn't have the basic round. It has like a big flat surface. You can use this one or that one, okay? And for this alignment ring, on the market there is one more kind of the punch. It's, uh, it's for heavy duty, so basically the punch has the bigger body. So, and for that punch is suitable this alignment ring. Or also this alignment ring you can use for some uh, forming tool. Uh, this is not round tool, that's the forming, that's for knockout. So basically just slide in and see nicely it match, okay? So you know that this alignment ring is suitable for this kind of, uh, of the body of the punch, okay? The next difference in the punches is, as you can see, this punch has the flat surface then also you can use this kind of punch, that's the whisper tool. And one more kind, that's also a whisper tool, but this punch is called rooftop. And then we have multi-tool. Multi-tool is a very good tool because it increases the amount of punching uh, tools at your machine. You can get it in 4, 5, 6 or 10 
10 station multi-tool. This one is five station. It means it has uh, five slots for different, different tools. And basically always one tool is, um, is active, okay? According to the rotation, Now this tool is active, it has the support underneath. So basically the tool looks like this. That's the tool, stripper and die. If you want to process some part with uh, lots of holes, you can use a cluster tool. The cluster tools looks like this. It's like uh, with one one stroke it makes four holes and the amount of the punch it differs according to the, the dimension right so this one is quite big with the big gap between them or you can use for example this one it's like four holes for, per one stroke this one will give you six holes per one stroke so it really um, decreased the processing time so another is a forming tool for example, this one is an easy one, it's a countersink. So if you have some pre punch hole, so after that you will use this forming tool. It makes you uh, the countersink for a screw. Another kind, it's a knockout. The next kind of forming tool is a louver tool. Basically, it works like the punch press on the sheet, which is between the punch and the die. This part of the die, it goes down. Underneath is a kind of spring. So this is the solid part and the hole in the punch, it forms the sheet. Another kind of forming tool it's an extrusion, so this kind is an extrusion up. So basically you have pre-punch hole, after then you load the extrusion, it will extrude the, the sheet. So this is for extrusion up. This is extrusion with down. And the next forming tool I want to show you, it's a tapping tool. So the topping tool basically there are two kinds. One is type one, the other is type two. So it differs according the according the thread what you want to what you want to do. Okay. Okay, that's it. So now you know a little bit more about punching tools. I showed you different uh, shapes and kinds of punching tools. So you know that there is some, uh, some punching tools, there is some forming tool, and there is much, much more, okay? There is plenty of them, okay? So it really just depends whatever came on your mind. So I would say that everything is doable. Okay guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it and it was useful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below this video into the comment section. And see you later. Take care.